There's been a lot of times when I disagree with black men on here when it comes to certain things they say about black women. And then there are certain things that black men say on here that actually make sense and are actually correct. As much as I love black females, and I do, I love them with all my heart. Some of you are really fucking stupid. And yes, I said it. Some of you are really fucking stupid. Just as stupid as the men in the black community that I call out for their fucking interracial, you know, tendencies and fetishes, okay? I just finished watching a 10-minute video of something that was longer on Fly Nubian Queen. I can only get through 10 minutes. I can only get through 10 minutes. The black woman that was on there, I don't remember her name, but she was pretty. She was talking about fetishization. When I see a black woman bring up the topic of fetishization, it just lets me know that they give a shit what the European thinks of them. You care what these European people think about you over your own people. You want their validation over everybody else in this entire world. I don't understand why there is any black woman who gives a fuck what these people think about them. These people are deceptive and they do things for a reason. And the reason is not to make you feel good about yourselves. The reason ultimately benefits them for whatever purpose or whatever idea they have in mind. But you females just don't understand it because a lot of you deal with emotion and you work on your emotion. You think with your heart, whereas men think with their logic and their mind. Some men don't, but I do. I know the tricks that these motherfuckers use. I may not know all the tricks, but I see what you don't see because you're so busy celebrating the crumbs of these these uh Miss America teen USA Miss Universe winners that you don't understand that this is bullshit. You don't understand that. It ain't no goddamn coincidence that these five women of color won. And I say women of color because two of them look biracial to me. And I don't have a problem with biracial women. I've already made videos on that before and I discussed that topic before. But there are black women out here that don't have any love for biracial women because they say that biracial women are stealing their men. Their men are going after biracial women if they're not going after white women. But then these same black women will sit here and celebrate biracial women winning a pageant. They'll, these same black women celebrated the, the was it last year in 2018 or 2017? I don't fucking know. I don't remember because I don't give a shit. But when Meghan Markle, who is a biracial woman, who has a white father and a black mother, when she married Prince Harry... There were black women in the swirling community going absolutely fucking ape shit, happy, crazy. First of all, you didn't marry the fucking prince. Second of all, that woman doesn't represent you. But it's funny how black women will have a biracial woman represent them when it when it suits them. And I'm not trying to beat up on you women because I love you. I do. I know you're going to say, fuck you. You don't love us at all. Lies. I do love you, but I have to have some tough love. And I'm not going to be a Tommy Sotomayor or any of these other channels that beat up on you because I've never been that way. I criticize you like I criticize myself and criticize black men who do stupid shit as well. But you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't say, oh, I don't give a shit about biracial women. I don't like them. They're my competition. And then you celebrate them and you think it's you that has had a victory because a Meghan Markle, who's not even fully black, has gotten herself a prince. And he's not even a fucking catch himself. I don't understand some of you women out there just as much as I don't understand some of these black men in the community. Countless times I've said I don't understand how you women talk about, you know, you can't stand black men. You keep talking about them, though. Then you say that you love white men so much, but most of you that are following this way of the swirl, this path of the swirl, and read these books on how to attract these white men, you ain't getting these motherfuckers. Because if you were getting these white boys, you wouldn't have... You know, this anger towards black women that are in relations with black men. You wouldn't give a fuck about them. But you call them pick-me's and shit like that. And mammies. 
But the mammies are you because you want to be with these people. You need to look up that word because that word describes you. It doesn't describe black women with black men. It describes you. Now, personally, I'm giving I'm not giving a shit about swirlers anymore, but it just I had to make this video because this continues to show the stupidity of the black community. And not everybody in the black community is stupid, but there are people in this community that are really fucking sick, demented, twisted. They're they're just really dumb. I'm sorry. And it's not I'm not being hateful here. I'm being real with you. I have to give you tough love because you need to understand that. And I'm not no high and mighty motherfucker that I'm not bet that I'm better than you. I'm not better than you. I got flaws too. But come on. You have to understand that this looks dumb. You want these people val you want these people's val validation. Why do you care if these motherfuckers fetishize you unless you want to be with them? You shouldn't be giving this shit about it. You shouldn't care. You should not give a fuck what they think about you. You're never going to see them put you on a pedestal over their own women. It's not going to happen. It ain't going to happen. You're not going to see these motherfuckers out here in the street losing their life for you. Over their own females. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get any laws changed because you're sleeping with a white man. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. It's a damn shame that a lot of sisters out there are so goddamn clouded by judgment and use their hearts. And I know they have good hearts out there, but some of them, they're going to get their hearts crushed. You say the black man does this shit to you, the, okay, okay. That's what I never get. You say everything bad that the black man does to you, but you don't say anything bad that these men do to you, these non-black men, especially the white men. You don't say what they do bad to you at all. You can forgive what they do to you, but you can't forgive what a black man does to you. Because the thing is, we're more hard on each other than we're hard on other people. Well, I've said it before, and other people have said it too, and I'm pretty sure you heard in your family, somebody's probably said it. Black people are harder on themselves than anybody else. They give each other more shit than anybody else. They'll forgive other people, but they, they won't forgive each other. And it's just reality. It's true. It's true. So to me, a black woman that is looking for validation from white people, she looks pathetic. She looks pathetic to me and desperate. Same thing goes with a black man doing the same thing. You look stupid. I just don't understand it and I don't want to understand it. You celebrate crumbs that are thrown to you because you think that because you've won a beauty pageant or two that all of a sudden that America is realizing how beautiful you are. Women, you black women, you've already been beautiful since the day you've been on this planet. That's what you don't understand. The fact that you need them of all people to tell you how beautiful you are is pathetic to me. It's also pathetic that there's not a lot of black men doing that. But I'm pretty sure in the privacy of their homes, they're doing that with their wives and shit like that. But you want it on a grander scale so the whole world can see it. And I understand that because white men put their women on pedestals all the time. More black men need to put their women on pedestals. I do that shit on this channel. When I show the slideshows, I do that all the time. I've been doing that since 2015 on my other channel that's gone now. I understand, black women. I understand. But still, it looks sad. That you need their validation over everybody else's validation. You need, a, you need a crown to tell you how beautiful you are. You need to be on TV and have these white people take pictures of you and tell you how beautiful you are for you to feel beautiful. I, I, I don't understand that. I just don't. And then when a biracial woman wins, you still celebrate it as if you're winning. Because black people have a tendency to... You know, take people in when it when it's convenient for them. Talk shit about biracial people because we can't stand interracial dating. Some of us, and uh, all of a sudden, when a biracial person wins, all of a sudden they're they're black. All of a sudden, Obama was black when he was elected, even though Obama is a mixed um, a mixed man. He's not fully black, and he did more for white people than he did for black people. But you'll 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 take these people in when it suits you. And I don't understand how black women can complain about biracial women, but then you celebrate them at the same time, in the same breath. 
You have to make up your fucking mind. And you have to make it up now. You got Kim Kardashian disrespecting you every chance she gets trying to look like a black woman. She will never be black. I think she wants to be black. But unfortunately, she doesn't have enough melanin to be. But the more you continue to allow these women of other nationalities and, you know, ethnic backgrounds to disrespect you, they're going to continue to do it. It shouldn't take a crown. It shouldn't take a pageant for black women to realize how beautiful they are. And that is the fault of many black men as well, because if we made our women feel more beautiful, they wouldn't have to go to the white man or these other people to feel that way. I understand that. I take responsibility for it. But I make sure I tell my mother she's beautiful. I make sure I tell my wife every day how beautiful she is. And she's number one. She's number one in my book. And if I have a daughter, I'll make sure I do the same. But it just looks bad when we have to have videos being made talking about if you're still a fetish. Because that just tells me that you give a shit what they think about you. That tells me that you care more about their opinion than anybody else's opinion. Your family can tell you you're beautiful. You don't give a shit. Until those white people tell you, you will not care. You will not feel beautiful until you are on the cover of one of their magazines. When you're on television. When they are crowning you as Miss America or Miss Universe or Miss Teen USA or Miss USA or Miss... You know, it's just Miss This and Miss That. These pageants are bullshit. Am I happy that these black women won? Of course I am. But I already know that black women are beautiful. Black women need to know that they are beautiful. They keep letting society make them feel ugly because they don't want them the, the natural hair. Suddenly when a white man shows on a television show that he's attracted to a black woman with natural hair, all of a sudden the natural hair move, movement is in play. I'm not a black man that hates natural hair. I actually love afros. I've told you before. Since I saw Pam Grier many years ago when I was in my teens, the first time I ever saw a Pam Grier movie was Foxy Brown, then Coffee, which I should have watched in reverse, but didn't. That made me love Afros, Pam Grier. Beautiful woman, still beautiful now. Will always be beautiful, even when she dies, she'll be beautiful. And I'll cry a tear for that woman, shed tears when she dies, even though I don't know her. Because she has always been one of the most beautiful black women in the world to me. But this is just sad. It really is. And it just shows how we lose when we think like this. You don't got to take my word for it. I'm just some fucking black man on YouTube who has a low count of views. So who? what the fuck do I know? If I was a top YouTuber, you might contemplate it more. But I'm just telling you my opinion because it makes sense if you think about it. You shouldn't be celebrating these crumbs. And it shouldn't take a fucking pageant for black women to realize how beautiful they truly are. That's just my opinion. I'll talk to you soon.